Today's video is all about icing bags, how to fill them, and also some tips about making amazing icing colors. I'm gonna show you the most efficient and awesome ways to use your icing bag. You're about to learn something here, so let's do it. All right, I'm all about having fun decorating cookies, but I also love some efficiency. I'm a busy mom and I've got a lot of things that I am doing and that I wanna do. And so when I can kill two birds with one stone, I absolutely love it. I'm gonna show you how to do that with your icing bags. I know, crazy, right? Okay, I'm gonna show you how I fill my icing bags that saves a ton of time. So these are my trusty icing cups. I keep them in my cookie kitchen. I love them. It's just a basic plastic cup. You can use whatever glasses or cups that you have. You really only need one, but if you want to, you totally can do that. I have a short one uh, for my smaller icing bags and I have a regular size one for my regular icing bags. And, and again, if you only have one size of icing bag, that's totally fine. I'm gonna show you how I fill these. So I get things ready from the get-go. Like if I know I'm gonna be mixing up a bunch of colors, then I literally stack the bags inside the cup so I don't have to do it every single time. How many times have you tried to fill an icing bag and you're like holding it and you're putting the icing in and it's everywhere and it's so frustrating, I hate that. So if you hate that too and you're sick of having that kind of mess, let me show you something. You're gonna take your icing bag, you're gonna open it up and you're gonna put it right inside the cup and you're gonna fold the edge over like that, okay? And then you're gonna do it again. Open up the icing bag, put it right inside. There we go. And usually I can, I can fill maybe six to 10. I can put six to 10 icing bags inside one cup at a time. Anytime I can create kind of an assembly line of what I'm doing, even when it comes to cookies, um, it lets me enjoy more of the decorating process and not the prep process so much. Cause there's a lot of prep involved when you're decorating cookies and so, this is another way that you can make things a little bit more efficient in the right areas so you can enjoy the parts of cookie decorating that you really love. All right, so I do the same thing with my small ones. And it happens to be a smaller cup, it fits better, but you could also do it in a bigger cup too. You just open it up, plop it in, and fold it over. And then I usually push down and kind of squeeze some of that air out. And these are just fresh bags. Don't, don't cut the end of the bag or anything. Not yet anyway, you're gonna do that after you fill them. Okay, so I've got a bunch of them on here. Now, I'm gonna take my icing. Here, we're gonna fill this one. So I've got some icing mixed up here. And I'm just gonna plop it right inside the bag. And then all I do is I take that off. It's ready for the next one already. And so now I've got a bunch of air in there. There's air all over the place. What I normally do is I'll grab the top and I will squeeze the icing down to the bottom as far as I can. Now, there's still a bunch of air bubbles in there. So, you know, I'll usually, usually I'll try and just kind of squeeze some out, but it's hard to get them all out. And maybe you've seen this somewhere. Maybe you've tried this before. We're gonna do the helicopter method. We're gonna push all the icing down to the end of the bag like this, watch out, watch this. So you're gonna grab the top. You're gonna make sure that it, you really grab the whole top, okay? We're gonna be spinning the icing, watch this. I only did it a few times and look, all of that icing is now down to just about the very tip of the end. And air bubbles start to come up to the top when you do that. That's the awesome thing about this helicopter method of filling your icing bag, it's really cool. All right, a couple more times. I want more air bubbles to come to the top. And then you squeeze out the air at the top. I usually try and push any more of that icing down. And then I typically will tie it. I tie a knot, but if you wanna use, um, you know, if you have more icing in there and you can't tie a knot, then grab a bag clip or whatever kind of bag clip you have, a rubber band, um, if, you do, if, you, if you prefer not to tie a knot in it, then just go ahead and clip it. And there you go. Um, let me show you another thing that I love to do. So if I, if I do tie a knot, uh, then it looks like this, right? So something I also love to do is I'll grab my scissors and I'll just cut off the end 
And then I don't have any of that excess. I don't have any, you know, extra, extra fray because sometimes that can um, interfere with when I'm decorating my cookies. I prefer just to have less uh, fussiness when I'm decorating, so I usually cut the end off. It's not necessary, but it's definitely a preference thing, so feel free to do that if you want. Now, my icing bag is ready, and I can quickly go to the next one, fill it up, and do the same thing. Let's talk a little bit about some color tips that I have for you. I have a couple things to share. Before I do that, though, let me just say thank you for watching this video. It really means a lot to me. And I just want you to know that if you want to amaze your friends and family with the most awesome looking cookies they've ever seen, you are in the right place. This channel is where deliciousness meets joy and fun with cookies. It's so fun here. I'm gonna show you how to make cookies that look impressive, but are also easy to make. So please, please do me a favor. Go ahead, like this video, hit the subscribe button, and also hit that notification bell so you don't miss a new episode and share it with your friends and family who love to bake or maybe they wanna decorate cookies too. It really helps out a lot. So thank you again. Now, let's get back to the video. So I've got a couple, a couple more tips for you on the icing bag side is um, you wanna make sure that you're using decent quality bags. So there are some bags that can be really thin and if you have thick icing in them, um, sometimes it can blow out the seams. So be sure that you have a decent quality bags. Also, there are different bag thicknesses depending on your icing. So like if you have a really thick, you're doing florals or something and your icing is really thick, then you're probably gonna want a heavier bag. Um, it's gonna be a little bit thicker and it's a little bit more flexible and it's gonna handle more of that pressure. If you're doing regular outlining and flooding, then in like a regular tipless royal icing bag is gonna be just fine for you. I have something here, this is bright white, okay? So bright white food coloring is pretty awesome. It can do a couple things though. So bright white, when you add this, so this happens to be the Miracle version, whatever brand you're using uh, will probably have a, a white food gel. Um, something to note is if you use bright white, it cools down the tone and temperature of your icing and temperature, I mean color wise. So when you're using bright white, some people will use it in their whole batch of icing, uh, but this will turn, if you if you like to work with warm colors like I do, I love more of a warm tone, it is gonna cool down the tone of your icing color. So just keep that in mind when you're using it because I know a lot of a lot of bakers and cookiers will use this, this bright white um, or a white version of gel color and uh, sometimes they don't realize that and then their, their colors are off. So just keep that in mind when you're mixing your colors and you're using the white. Another color tip for you, if you have colored your icing and it's gone uh, maybe a little too far, a little too dark, sometimes, yeah, you can use this bright white to tone it down. Um, it, it won't, it'll take it down maybe a notch or two. The other thing you can do is just go ahead and add some more of the white icing. That's a really great way to tone down your color without compromising the integrity of your icing. I hope this helps. I hope that this helps you get some better icing colors and makes it a little bit easier for you when you're working with your icing and getting it all bagged up. I love this method. This has saved me so much time. I hope it helps you too. So let me know in the comments if it does. I can't wait to see. Would you love to start making your very own professional looking, super fun decorated cookies right in your own home in just the time that it takes to fold laundry or run an errand? If you're thinking yes, I'd love to invite you to join me in Lolly's Cookie Camp. It's a five part workshop series that gives you insider secrets to professional cookie decorating. Your cookies will become the star of the party, the talk of the town, and the perfect gift for any occasion. I often say that cookies can change lives. Well, they certainly changed mine, and I wanna share some of that magic with you too. So if you feel like it's time to level up your cookie decorating skills and find more fun and joy in life, it's so easy. Just go to the link in the video description, pop in your details, sign up, and let's get decorating together.